A safe practice when handling a gun is to rest your finger on the outside of the trigger guard or along the side of the gun until you are ready to shoot. True or false? Answer, true. To know your target, its surroundings, and beyond, you must consider that if the bullet misses or completely passes through the target, it could strike another person or object. True or false? Answer, true. Drinking alcohol while handling firearms is safe if your blood alcohol level remains below the legal limit. True or false? Answer, false. Toddlers lack the strength to pull the trigger of a firearm. True or false? Answer, false. You may face misdemeanor or felony charges if you keep a loaded firearm where a child obtains and improperly uses it. True or false? Answer, true. There is no such thing as being too careful with children and guns. True or false? Answer, true. An important lesson children should learn is that guns are not toys. True or false? Answer, true. Child safety precautions only apply if you have children. True or false? Answer, false. The importance of the dangerous range is that a bullet can travel far beyond the intended target. True or false? Answer, true. The safety on a semi-automatic pistol is not foolproof. True or false? Answer, true. Just because a cartridge fits into your firearm does not necessarily mean it is safe to shoot. True or false? Answer, true. It is important to carefully read all instructional material you receive with your firearm. True or false? Answer, true. Certain modifications, when made to a firearm, may void its warranty. True or false? Answer, true. It is safe to store a loaded firearm in your bedside table. True or false? Answer, false. Two common firearm safety devices are trigger locks and cable locks. True or false? Answer, true. It is illegal for a person convicted of any felony offense to possess a firearm. True or false? Answer, true. To legally give a firearm to your best friend as a birthday gift, you must complete the transfer of the firearm through a licensed firearms dealer. True or false? Answer, true. It is illegal to lend a firearm to a minor without the permission of the minor's parent or legal guardian. True or false? Answer, true. Generally, a person may legally have a loaded firearm, if otherwise lawful, at his or her campsite. True or false? Answer, true. It is illegal to buy, sell, or possess a firearm knowing its identification marks have been erased or altered. True or false? Answer, true. Which of the following steps should be taken to childproof your firearm? A. Use a firearm safety device and store the firearm in a locked container. B. Always store your firearm unloaded. C. Store ammunition separately in a locked container. D. All of the above. Answer, D. All of the above. A magazine is part of A. A. Single action revolver. B. Double action revolver. C. Semi automatic pistol. D. Single action and a double action revolver. Answer C. Semi automatic pistol. Firearm or ammunition caliber refers to 
A. Barrel length. B. Magazine capacity. C. Barrel or bullet diameter. D. Bullet velocity. Answer. C. Barrel or bullet diameter. After ensuring a double action revolver is pointed in a safe direction and with your finger off the trigger, you begin unloading the firearm by A. Opening the cylinder. B. Locking the slide back. C. Opening the loading gate. D. Pushing the magazine release. Answer A. Opening the cylinder. In the case of a malfunction, you should a. Keep your finger on the trigger. B. Immediately drop the firearm. C. Try and determine where the malfunction is. D. Keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Answer. D. Keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. One of the safety rules is to know how to properly A. Clear a malfunction. B. Operate your gun. C. Load your gun. D. Clean your gun. Answer. B. Operate your gun. As a safety measure, where should your firearm always be pointed? A. To the north. B. In the safest possible direction. C. Up. D. Down. Answer. B. In the safest possible direction. Which of the following safety points should you remember when handling a gun? A. Never shoot a gun in celebration. B. Do not fire at water, flat, or hard surfaces. C. Wear ear and eye protection when shooting a gun. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. The dangerous range of a firearm refers to A. The accuracy of the firearm B. The distance the bullet can travel C. The sound range of the firearm D. The maximum distance a target should be placed Answer B. The distance the bullet can travel Which of the following is a true statement regarding most ammunition? A. It can travel less than half a mile. B. It can travel exactly one mile. C. It can travel at least a mile. D. It can't travel beyond 100 yards. Answer. C. It can travel at least a mile. Which type of ammunition has higher penetration and distance capabilities? A. Low velocity ammunition. B. Standard ammunition. C. Short range ammunition. D. High velocity or magnum ammunition. Answer. D. High velocity or magnum ammunition. Is it possible for most ammunition to penetrate the interior walls of a house? A. No, they lack the energy to do so. B. Yes. But they will lose all energy immediately after. C. Yes, and they can still travel some distance before losing its energy. D. No, because walls are designed to stop bullets. Answer. C. Yes, and they can still travel some distance before losing its energy. Who is responsible for any damage or injury caused by a bullet once fired? A. The manufacturer of the ammunition. B. The person at whom the bullet was aimed. C. The firearm. D. The person who fired the bullet. Answer. D. The person who fired the bullet. On a revolver, where is the caliber information generally found? A. On the handle. B. On the slide. C. On the trigger. D. On the barrel. Answer, D, on the barrel. If a cartridge fits in your firearm. A, it's always safe to shoot. B, it means the firearm can handle the pressure. 
C. It's recommended by the manufacturer. D. It doesn't necessarily mean it's safe to shoot. Answer. D. It doesn't necessarily mean it's safe to shoot.